Brutal crocodile attack changed Nancy Peterson's life forever. Crocodiles are some of the most feared predators in the world, don't you agree? Their strong jaws and sharp teeth can kill even the biggest animals. But what happens when these attacks are directed towards humans? The answer lies in the chilling encounter of Nancy Peterson, a tourist on a safari in Africa who faced a deadly crocodile attack. Let's listen to her story. Nancy was an adventurous spirit who loved exploring the natural world. She embarked on a guided tour of a wildlife preserve in Africa, excited to experience the region's stunning natural beauty. Her love for the outdoors was there since childhood and grew stronger as she got older and she started looking for chances to go on adventures and discover new places as she got older. When in Africa, Nancy was overjoyed to be in the company of such a wide variety of animals, from imposing elephants to slinky cheetahs and everything in between. She was overcome with a sense of amazement and astonishment at the overwhelming magnificence of the natural world as she observed the sights and listened to the sounds that were all around her. Yet, as the tour went on, Nancy's sense of enthusiasm began to morph into an increasing sense of worry. The tour guide warned the party about the numerous dangerous animals that may be found in the area, such as lions, hyenas, and crocodiles. He underlined the importance of exercising caution and vigilance, urging them not to wander too far away from the group and to maintain a safe distance from any potentially dangerous creatures. He also emphasized the necessity for caution and vigilance. Although Nancy took these warnings to heart, she couldn't help but feel uneasy as the tour boat got closer and closer to a river that was known to be inhabited by crocodiles. She couldn't help but feel uneasy as she observed the reptiles sunning themselves on the banks of the river, their icy eyes staring at the boat with an unsettling level of concentration. Even though the tour guide had cautioned her not to lean too far over the side of the boat, Nancy was unable to resist the impulse to have a better look at one of the baby crocodiles that was swimming nearby. In an instant, everything shifted into a different gear. Nancy's arm suddenly began to hurt very badly, and shortly after that, she felt a strong pull that dragged her forward and down toward the ocean. She was startled by the realization that she was being attacked by a gigantic crocodile, which had its jaws tightly clamped around her arm as it dragged her toward the murky depths of the river. She had only just understood what was happening. Nancy felt herself being pushed off the boat and into the water as the crocodile's bite exerted a staggering amount of energy, and it was during this time that she saw the crocodile. She was unable to release herself from the croc's clutches or even scream for assistance because she was in a helpless state. She had never felt anything like the sense of panic and terror that she felt at that moment as the icy water began to press in on her head. However, Nancy was able to preserve her composure and fight for her life despite the pain and shock that she experienced as a result of the attack. She began beating the crocodile with the hand she was holding the other weapon with to convince it to let go of its hold on her arm. She could feel the enormous jaw muscles of the reptile flexing and tightening as it attempted to pull her beneath the water and crush her arm. Yet she was adamant about not giving up and mustered every ounce of strength and energy she could muster to put up a fight. They were ultimately successful in coaxing the crocodile to let go of Nancy and pulling her back onto the boat with the assistance of the tour leader and the other participants on the excursion. She was immediately sent to a neighboring hospital where she endured a series of operations before beginning the arduous process of making a full recovery. She miraculously pulled through the event despite suffering significant damage to her arm as well as other portions of her body. Nancy emerged from the ordeal not only with a fresh appreciation for the strength and peril posed by these beasts, but also with a profound sense of thankfulness for her own survival and the help she received from the people around her. She concluded that even places that appear to be the most tranquil could conceal threats and hazards. That's all for the video today. We'll be right back with more such videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.